we're going behind the scenes at King of the Road Productions for Lost and Found. Finders Keepers. Items inadvertently left behind by singer-songwriters, such as Britt Godwin's extra strength cough drops. <laughs> and Frank Martin Gilligan's reading glasses. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Frank. Oh, and I'll never forget the time Kylie Fry was here and left her lipstick. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. Singer-songwriter Freddie Pate recently forgot his styling foam at King of the Road Productions. Like I said, finders keepers. No worries, Freddie. Strands Hair Spa in Port Natchez has plenty of Aveda products on hand. Oh, cool. I'll never forget the time country star Jeff Bates stopped by. All he left was a dead battery. Oh. Hey, I'm Jeff Bates, and I'm hanging out with my buddy Jim King. Came to stop by his house here to do a few songs off a new CD and some otherwise ridiculous stuff. <laughs> then there's that guitar pick that Grammy-winning singer-songwriter Don Rollins left at King of the Road Productions. You're going to take a seat on the official King chair here okay. at King of the Road Productions. All right, then. You don't have to wear the hat. Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's about the size of our lost and found department. We do have a few unidentified odds and ends, like somebody's guitar string, the sticker that fell off someone's guitar case, and I'm not quite sure what this doohickey is for. Anyway, moving on with our nickel tour of King of the Road Productions. This is what you call a memory quilt. It's made out of my old jeans and t-shirts and patches off of jackets and things. A fan made this for me about 20 years ago in Elk City, Oklahoma, where I was doing the morning show on a country radio station. It's got lots of memorabilia from uh, over 20 years of being in television and radio. And every time somebody comes by to uh, be in the royal spotlight in the throne room here at King of the Road Productions, I make sure to have them sign the memory quilt. You can see there's Dick LeMasters, uh, Larry Tillery signed up there, David Barnardo, the famous fiddle player, Bill Brooks, um, Mike Zito, Casey Chestnut. Also have uh, my swimming medals from high school, Junior Olympics. Uh, a lot of backstage passes that I've collected over the years in radio and television. Something really neat. I recommend getting a, a memory quilt for yourself. It's, it's a neat deal. Anyway, back to the recording and editing studio, AKA the throne room. Well, here we are in the belly of the beast, so to speak. This is where it all goes down at King of the Road Productions. I sit right here many hours every day producing the King of the Road Show HD TV commercials, the episodes. We have uh, King's Country Internet Radio streaming 24 seven and worldwide from this laptop right here. It's amazing the technology that we have today. I can go live with this microphone anytime I want and worldwide and crystal clear on King's Country. I've uh, actually sat at this spot and produced 480 episodes and counting from right here at King of the Road Productions. Update, this episode marks the 675th edition of the regional record extending Jim King of the Road show on Fox 4, KBTV and The CW. Plus, I'm now broadcasting middays, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on free 105.3 and at freefm.net. I'm honored and humbled to add that King of the Road Productions and I have won numerous awards since launching the King of the Road show on a radio station over 20 years ago. One of my crowning achievements was becoming a finalist for the National Association of Broadcasters Marconi Award, the highest honor a radio personality can achieve. In fact, radio legend Al Caldwell and I are the only Southeast Texans who can claim that honor. Still to come, Casey Chestnut will be in the, the Royal, Royal Spotlight. Spotlight. Sponsored by Bradley's Collision Center in Port Natchez. But next, we'll air the Southeast Texas debut of Olivia Lane's new video as our absolute air music clip of the week. Here comes this week's Honky Tonk Texas Fabulous Flashback. Ricky Gilly. Yes, sir. Nice to finally meet you. Well, it's good to be on the show with you. Of course, you go way back with uh, the man we just spoke with, um, Johnny Lee. I, I mentioned your name and he said, Mickey who? <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. he's here. 
<laughs> we started working together in the 60s at a club called the Nessa Dell on Spencer Highway in Pasadena, Texas. And uh, we've been friends for many, many years. King of the Road. That was this week's Honky Tonk Texas fabulous flashback. Honky Tonk Texas in Silsby is the Southeast Texas headquarters for live music, dinner, drinking, and dancing. Honky Tonk Texas features a steady stream of the best live entertainment in the Lone Star State. Come scoot a boot and shoot some pool or shuffleboard. Make plans to be at the Honky Tonk Texas every Thursday for steak night. Delicious Texas-sized steaks cooked to perfection with all the fixings. And don't forget the world-famous Honky Tonk Grill inside of Honky Tonk Texas. See your favorite national, regional, and local artists on the Honky Tonk stage. Drink, dance, and dine Friday nights at Honky Tonk Texas. Cash giveaways and ladies get in free.